it's really humbling for me to do walk alongside my clients on that journey. And Dr. Andrew Bean Ashroff has worked as a mental health professional for more than a decade. If anything's become abundantly clear, it's this. Our professionals are predominantly white. Ashroff says only 10% of the mental health workforce in Oregon is BIPOC. And making matters even worse, the pandemic has disproportionately impacted the BIPOC community. Ashroff argues there is no better time than now for Black, Indigenous, and people of color to be able to connect with a BIPOC mental health counselor. Going to someone as a client, as a BIPOC client, going to a professional who also is in a shared identity can have a sense of safety and trust. Ashroff reached out to state lawmakers and her pleas for help did not fall on deaf ears. It's worth it to fight for the mental health of BIPOC Oregonians. State Representative Janelle Bynum is one of the chief sponsors of Oregon House Bill 2949. It aims at improving the BIPOC mental health workforce through pipeline development, scholarships, and this. We are addressing supervision costs. We are addressing people who have been formally incarcerated and allowing them to um, engage in programs so they can become licensed. We're addressing the cost of um, getting your licensure in the first place. So not just supervision costs, but with um, student loan forgiveness and things like that. As this bill moves through the state legislature, Bynum expects licensing boards to be a major obstacle she says they're staffed by people not of color, but Bynum remains confident. Do I think we'll have a bill that passes this session? Absolutely. Do I think I'll get everything? Probably not, but it's worth it to me. And to Dr. Anjabine Ashroff, who says the health of our community as a whole is at stake. Our communities are only healthy as all of us are. And if our BIPOC community members who have been disproportionately impacted historically, but also in light of the COVID-19 pandemic aren't well, then our communities cannot be well. Dr. Ashroff is aware that some people may look at this bill and say it's an indictment on white mental health professionals. She says that is not the case at all. Instead, she says the bill was born out of the very unique experiences of the BIPOC community here in Oregon and across the country. The bill is slated for a public hearing on March 3rd. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.